What up YouTube, Steve on Team Pro Panda, and I got a little video for you guys today. Uh, it's gonna be on Dueling Network. So a lot of you guys been asking me, you know, my thoughts on DN, am I on this thing? Uh, what's going on? I don't wanna make this video for quite a while now, but recently I got the pleasure of talking to one of my teammates, Michael Garcia, and he and I had this very in-depth chat about uh, Dueling Network and our thoughts and whatnot on it. Um, so, you know, with all that said, I wanna make this video for you guys to talk about the Dueling Network and whatnot. So. Um, um, to begin, this is DN, and my login name is Mumuli, M-U-M-U-L-I. You can add me anytime you want. Um, I'm on normally during the afternoon, like derping around at work because I'm lazy like that. But if you catch me, say what's up, we can play. Um, so this is DN. Uh, let's go right into it. Um, so this video is going to be about, like, you know, just our thoughts on DN and some suggestions that I have to make the community better, um, some modification they could do. And I really hope that this video will go through the community and maybe, like, you know, admin will catch one of it, maybe DBLS will watch it and, you know, try to implement some of the stuff that I suggest because I think it will really help the community. Um, but to begin, I want to say this, though. DN is not Yu-Gi-Oh! DN and actual tournament Yu-Gi-Oh! are two different things. DN essentially is a watered-down version of Yu-Gi-Oh! Here's the reason why. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a show-show event, it's a show-show thing. You're playing with other people. Even though you don't talk to them, there's a lot of communication that happens when you're just playing your card. The way you draw your card, the way you say main phase 1, battle phase, main phase 2, the way you end turn, the way you summon monster, set monster, you know, set spell or trap, you know, use spell and trap. All these carry a non-verbal message, non-verbal communication. And with DN, you cut all that out. And in, in actual like high competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! big tournaments, these non-verbal communication, these non-verbal cues are more than 50% of the reason why people win and lose. Um, you, you, if you can pick up these little small hints, you can get very good at the game. Um, and with the end, you can't really do that because you're staring at a screen. So what is the end? DN to me is a tool. You, you, you use DN. Um, you use DN as a tool to do what? To, to test out decks, to test out ideas, to um, test out cards that's not out yet. And it's a place where you can mess around and derp around. But um, I, I still think DN is a very viable tool, but in no way I think this is actual Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, people with very high DN scores uh, can very well suck in Yu-Gi-Oh and I see it happen a lot. So. That's that. But um, some suggestions I have for DN though is this. First of all, I believe that everyone who signed up for DN should go through a little test. It's gonna be like a very quick test, like a judge test almost, but it's gonna be very watered down. It's gonna be covering some very basic game mechanics like, you know, what can you do doing battle phase? What can you do doing end phase? What can't you do to doing those two phases? Um, you know, the, the mechanics of XYZ summoning. You know, uh, the effects of, you know, Valor, Maxi, you know, just very basic stuff, you know, the effects of, you know, Tengu, just, just very simple stuff. And the reason why is because even though you're playing, you know, high level games like, you know, 1200, 1400, 1500, 1800, I still see a lot of people just, just, you know, oblivious to how this game works. You know, I see people drop Maxi when like, you know, DeFi is on the field. Like, I, and, and, and again, this is everywhere. It's rampant. I'm pretty sure if you guys play the end, you run to things like that and of course you have your derpy players who like you know don't even know like how this game works and 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 try to argue with you when they have no idea how like the ruling works um and we all go through that it's extremely frustrating for everybody uh, especially people who actually know their ruling so again i think it's a very important thing just to like have a small a little test when people sign up for an account um I don't think that should be too hard to implement, and I think it will help us quite a bit. So this is the first thing. Um, second thing, very minor, is this. Uh, I think it'd be super cool if I go host duel, and then if someone to pop in here, um, you'll make a sound, like a, a beeping sound or something like that. And essentially, what will happen is that if I'm like you know hosting a duel, and I can like you know look through my you know websites of all the stuff, kind of you know kind of chill a little bit, maybe watch a video on YouTube, and when someone shows up, you'll notify me, so I they won't be sitting in my room for like you know five minutes waiting for something to happen. Um, I think they'll speed up the mat the, the game matching process quite a bit, and you won't have like games where people go fast accept, and then you sit in their room for like ten minutes and nothing happens. So a little beeping sound when someone joins the game, I think they'll be super cool and finally um not finally and the thing next thing is this um 
I think it'd be super cool to have a foreign section and other section. So if you just scroll down here, you see a lot of things like, um, you see a lot of Espanol right here, Espanol, Espanol, you know, Espanol, 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 Espanol. So we can see there's a lot, lot of, uh, oh, Indonesia, some guys from Indonesia. As you can see, some like, there's a lot of, um, you know, Espanol speaker and on the end who wants to play and I experienced this countless times where like you play somebody uh, who doesn't speak English and they do something like you know they can't it's just, just something just straight up against the rules and then like you go hey you can't do that and they go yeah I can and then the conversation stops there because they don't understand you and you don't understand them and you just kind of at a standstill it happens way too often um so why i think it'd be cool to have an actual separate channel that is for um foreign speaking games so you know people who speak espanol can play people who speak only espanol so if there is a ruling dispute a play dispute anything like that they can communicate with that language i think that'd be a very cool idea um so on top of that i think there should be another channel yet another one so we have one two three four five in total and the last one is going to be called others so so essentially what that means is that you can have channels when people um, right here PM me with trade partner links with six samurai who want to trade people who wants to you know want to host tournament people who want to you know just 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 not get kicked off and they want to stay logged on they can all go to the others channel and just log on there uh, so that way you clear up a lot of the uh, rated channels so people actually do want to play games and just kind of get into matches quickly um i think they'll like you know like organize everything much better um and it's just gonna work out and finally and most importantly i think a cool thing will be here uh you have like you know your public chat right here and you have your private chat right here um and i think you can have another chat right here called rulings so what it is is basically you click on it and then it's going to be a special little um a special little like you know chat room where people simply ask ruling question and and give ruling answers and that's what the room is specifically for you can have an admin to chilling in there just to kind of you know finalize rulings but essentially i believe the community itself is smart enough to cover very basic rulings and a lot of the questions are very basic rulings so if i'm playing someone and we have a ruling dispute rather than just kind of cough on admin taking up their time i think we can go hey let's go to ruling chat room we go there and we just ask people and people like yeah this is the way it is and another guy said yeah this is the way it is then go cool and now it's settled now if the guy still have a problem with it then we go to the admin but a lot of people i'm pretty sure they'll be like oh cool and I'm that's the way it is and they go with it so those are the suggestions i have for the end um and basically uh yeah that's it um so another question i want to ask you guys is this i can post some videos of me playing um, on the end and like you know turn up derping around and making fun of people if you want to see that leave comment about before say hey i want to see something like that if you do i'll start making videos of me on the end you know like smacking people up or get smacked up so anyways thanks for watching guys happy new year and i'll talk to you guys real quick